So what's going on everybody, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns episode summary slash preview analysis. Today we are going to be analyzing episode 119 summary and cast list along with the previews that we did get after the end of episode 118. It has been quite a while since I've done one of these videos. In fact, I haven't done it since episode 108, I think. Yeah, it's 108 because that was when... The Go and I duel was concluding, and also the start to Pandora and I's duels. So, if you guys don't know how the series works, I normally read the summary and cast list that we no that's normally announced. I think every beginning of the month, there's just a bu bunch of summaries that comes out. I will read those and then kind of give my thoughts on what this is going to influence in the episode. Also, normally I would have the actual summary up. But I actually can't do that right now. I'm actually using a new system, as you can see on the top. I am using Kim Master. Um, my original recording session is actually having some problems with loading time and stuff, and I'm not able to really do it that well. So once I can get it fixed, I will start doing those again. Um, I kind of did that when I did the episode 47 review, which I was planning on doing episode 48 tonight as well, but things came up as usual. I've just been a busy man for the last few days, and yeah, it's just been a little bit of struggle, but we're going to read the summaries. I have it written down, so prepare. So, episode 119's title is A Broken Ego. Having learned about Ai's sorrow, Playmaker tries to convince him to stop the battle. However, Ai has already made up his mind and won't back down no matter what. As the two battles continues to rage on, I makes a proso to Playmaker. And this is a short cast list, but really interesting one. Last one was just three. It was Playmaker, I and Kusanagi. This one is the same Playmaker, I and Kusanagi, but we also get Lightning, which if you can look on the top left, you can see Lightning is in this preview, which honestly shocked me. I did not expect any other Ignis to actually talk. I haven't been reading the summaries lately because... You know, I haven't got time to actually look at them, so it w literally for the next last few episodes, it was just a blank to me. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't even know Flame was even going to speak, which was shocking me, but let's kind of get into this. So, obviously, Playmaker is going to survive the attack. If you remember from episode 118, it ended off where I was able to negate Quantum's effect. Which sends his card back, which would have sent the rival Cybers and Ignister back to his hand. He's able to negate that. And now Playmaker's attacking a 1100 attack point monster with a 2500 attack point. Obviously he's going to survive or else it wouldn't have been an end for Playmaker. Because he would have taken way too much damage. But he wants to stop the duel. Because if you remember too, in the last episode... I basically, no matter what happens, will die. If he wins, I, I'm talking about, if I wins, Yusaku will be gone forever. But the, here's the thing. If, and I explained this in the episode 118 review, um, if I wins the duel, his free will is going to be separated into all of these copies that he made. And will be deleted forever. And obviously a playmaker lands. And everything is back to normal. And then I will be deleted again forever. So obviously with this being a part. Because I've been thinking about this a lot. Because I read this a little bit too beforehand. Because I normally want to get my thoughts in about it. But what kind of sucks about this. Is I take this in the perspective of. Playmaker's losing a family member. That's the only way I can feel like I can put this. Like, he so showed so much emotion when he thought I want to die the first time when he went to try to stop the Neuron Link when they battled Bowman. When he came back, he was glad that I was okay, even though it was a backup and all that stuff. I will seriously die this time. There is no backup or anything. I will die in this duel no matter what happens. And that's kind of a little bit interesting. 
of how that's going to work. Because not only is this hard for a playmaker, but I feel like this is hard for viewers of the show. Because, and even like other characters like Owie, Go, Soul Burner, Revolver, not really. Because Revolver wanted to destroy I, of course. But that was just something like... We obviously don't want to see I gone. I mean, we've known I since episode one. Soul Burner and those guys are related to the last incident, or even even Ao and Go were related to the I. Like I was the one that messaged Ao the dual playmaker after that Hanoi card virus. It's just gonna be so hard for. And especially Yusako for being his partner, after all. This is going to be a hard loss for all of them. So this is a really bad thing that is going to happen during this entire next two episodes. Which, yes, it is confirmed that episode 120 will be the last episode. So they keep battling because obviously I isn't going to stop. But he does, in this episode, say he will make a proposal. In terms, I have an idea, actually, of what the proposal will be. This is a really weird, like, idea, but it kind of makes sense. I think I's proposal is going to be that they can end the duel where they're at right now. I will release everyone that he's released. In exchange, he will be separated into these, all the I copies that he made, and they will also have their free will to at least leave on the legacy of the Ignis. That's where I feel like that's what his proposal is going to be. Or that he just finishes off I. But I think the first one sounds a lot more believable than, you know, just basically you'll release everyone again and just basically you saw, basically tell Playmaker to kill him. That's basically what it sounds like, but I believe that he would just want him to release his data into these all different copies of Ice. That way they both win. Do I think Playmaker's going to do it? No. And here's the reason why. I think Playmaker, and this kind of reminds me of how I think the closest character we ever had to having the point of dying was a Tem. From the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. I mean, you got Astral, but Astral never really died. Like, yeah, Yuman really did miss him when he left back to Astral World. But again, he didn't die. He's still alive. Atem died. And that's where I'm kind of getting the vibes or That no matter what, because, I mean, and I'm doing these two examples because these were the ones that had partners. I mean, Jin had Yubel, but I didn't really count that. But, and, well, I guess you had the four brothers, but that wasn't until way further in the season. Anyway, getting back on the topic, that's where I kind of feel like this situation is going. Like, Yugi never wanted to let a Tem go. Yuma didn't want to let Astro go. So, obviously, Playmaker's not going to let I go. That's his partner. He does not want him to be gone out of his life. So, he wants to do everything in his power. Everybody survives. But, like I said, it, you can't do anything about it. He's dying no matter what this result is. You can't draw, you can't do anything. Because I'm pretty sure if you just draw, it's going to basically be Yusaku doesn't die and the eyes clones get their free will. Which, I don't think Playmaker will let that happen. Maybe, but I really doubt it. But, something I want to talk about before... This episode gets too long because I don't want this to be a very long episode summary. But what is this little scene with lightning? That was something that really interests me. Is what is lightning's role in this? Now I know like maybe like eyes trying to carry out lightning's wishes. I hear that was a lot, but I feel like eyes trying to put his own twist into it. Like I just doesn't want or not I lightning wanted to destroy a human race. I doesn't. I wants them to coexist but like he even said in his own words he cannot co coexist with humans even though he technically already did he, like he can't do it anymore he feel like he let down his friends and stuff because he blames himself and the humans for this so he thinks he can't coincide with it he's hoping the copies do but 
He doesn't even know himself what the copies are going to do. But in regards to that, this is just going to be an interesting next two episodes. The proposal, I think I covered. Um, Again, I think this is just going to be really interesting of how this goes. And with Lightning speaking and even seeing that little image with him, either this is going to be like some sort of flashback, like maybe he got like a message from Lightning, or maybe the Ignis are still alive. I hardly believe that. If there was a couple more episodes, then... Maybe I would go into the terms of believing it, but there's just so much in this that I can't really think about what is going to go on. Well, tomorrow will be the episode 119 airing, so we'll kind of figure out what this proposal is and what Lightning's goals are during this. But, yeah, yeah, but before I end off the episode here, I want to ask you guys a question. Because I think I've got covered everything I wanted to cover in episode 119. I mean, all we had was a proposal and kind of how this duel is going to end. Obviously, I think Playmaker is going to win this duel with it being the last two episodes and all. But something I want to ask you guys is, do you think this series is going to end very well? This, if I remember correctly to just events, I think this is the shortest Yu-Gi-Oh! series in history with just 17 episodes. I think GX at least still had over 20 episodes. If I remember to my knowledge. I could be wrong about that. But that was something that really interests me. Is just how the series is just really going to go afterwards. With two episodes left. Kind of. It was a weird seeing how the Ignis were finished off. But there was nothing we can really do about that. I... Which, if you guys don't know this scenario, there's a new anime that's coming out in October. I think it's a sports anime, if I can remember correctly. But that's basically going to be taking over the airtime for when Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains was, which was on a Wednesday night. But let me know if you guys think this series is going to end well, or do you think it's going to be a big arc 5 base But I'm sorry for our fan fans, but Season 3 was just crap. But... I really loved season three. It's not my favorite. I still love Stevenson two better than this. There was so much potential for this se season, and even for the series in particular. But this was just meant to be. There was nothing we can do about it. But I want to ask you guys that question: Do you think this series is going to be good or not? Also, what do you think Playmaker will summon Link Six or Link Eight? I know that's a really odd question, but. That was something I was always wondering. I didn't know if he was going to do it. I didn't know if I was going to do a Link 6 or 8 or, not, or whatever it was. It made sense for Link 6. But what do you think Playmaker will summon? And just how is the graphics going to be good? Or how? Just tell me what you hope to see in this. Like a very emotional see what eyes death. Like I want to personally see... How the characters, all the rest of the crew basically ends their series off. I want a full-fledged of how they end their series. I want a really good end to all of their stories. I mean, Revolver and Soulburn kind of got their endings, but I want more of it. I want more of Aoi. I want more Go. I want more of Emma and Blood Shepherd, the Knights of Annoy, Spectre, even Naoki. I don't really care. I just want to see... How their stories go on. Kind of like how 5Ds went. Which was 10 years afterwards. Of the original crew. That's just something I want to see. In this very last episode. Like maybe the first 5 minutes. Was just the conclusion to the duel. Who knows. But I'm going to end that off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is kind of late. I'm doing really light, late night recordings. But. I'm going to try to get better at doing them in the mornings as best as I can. Um, I won't be able to do it Wednesday. I will try to get it up Thursday morning. We'll just see how it goes. I'll be able to get back in time to record it, but I think it will be better to post it on Thursday morning. So be on the lookout for that. I will be posting the screenshots from the episode on the other social media sites. So go check that out. But link will be down in the description below. 
But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good day. Or, I guess, night, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace out.